the Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Jones in particular have an unhealthy loyalty to Ezekiel Elliott. It's understandable given his draft position and his contract, but for the last few seasons, he's been keeping a much better running back off the field. This table is a comparison of Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott's 2021 statistics. The rankings are out of 68 qualifying running backs, and Pollard was better than Zeke in pretty much every metric. The key stats for running backs would be yards after contact per attempt, expected points added per attempt, and yards per route run. The only places Zeke was better last season are fumbling and drops, but if we compare them across the last four seasons, which is as long as Tony Pollard's been in the league, Pollard is slightly better in both metrics, and Zeke has had a couple drops already this season on easily catchable passes. This isn't a referendum on Ezekiel Elliott's legacy. I'm not denying that he was at one point an elite running back, and even with the recent drop in efficiency, he still had one of the longest and most productive careers for a running back in the modern NFL. But based on the tape and the numbers, I just don't see how you can justify not having Tony Pollard as your lead back in 2022. To be fair to Ezekiel Elliott, he hasn't had very many well-blocked rushing attempts this season. He's been hit at the line a bunch, and his vision, power, and balance I think still make him a capable NFL running back, but he isn't as shifty in open space as he was early in his career, and he's become a lot less decisive over the last couple seasons, which I've noticed happens to a lot of players as they get older. I'm sure Cowboys fans are tired of hearing about how this isn't the 2016 offensive line, but it bears repeating, Dallas is not going to be able to just stick whoever in the backfield and expect to have a successful running game. Tony Pollard is so obviously better than Ezekiel Elliott at this point in his career, and continuing to split their carries and snaps at this 40 to 60 ratio is coaching malpractice. 